So if we look at our script, our first thing is a description of the framing of our shot. ECU is the framing information, so ECU stands for Extreme Close-Up of Hands on the Basketball. We're going to hit return, and now we're going to set a decimal tab. Um, a decimal tab tells the information that you're going to type at the tabbed location to align itself with a decimal, or in our case, a colon. So to set a tab, you're going to go up to the ruler, locate that ruler bar at the top, um, kind of circling around it. And over to the far left is where we set our tabs. And the default is always a left tab. So if I click on this little icon with the left tab, it's going to have a drop down menu. If you're working on a PC, you'll just keep clicking and it will scroll through the different um, symbols for the tabs. And these are the symbols, a center, a right tab, a decimal tab, or a bar. So we want the decimal tab, so I'm going to click decimal tab. Now it hasn't set a decimal tab, I've just selected that's what I want to set. So I will go up to my ruler and I will decide where I want that decimal tab to hang. And then I can just click on here and now my decimal tab has been set. And you'll notice <clears throat> that my cursor has now gone to where the decimal tab is and if I were to run my cursor pretty much straight up to the decimal you can see that it is aligned right underneath that decimal tab. So our first timing of how long our first scene lasts is going to be three seconds. And there it aligns right there. So now I'm ready to tab over to my audio for what I hear. So the first thing I hear is I hear some music. So I'm going to type that in caps. And then I'm going to type the instructions. I'm going to put the instructions inside parentheses. Establish. Then under, throughout. And what that tells the editor is that you're going to bring that music up just to a level where I can recognize the music. Then I'm going to fade it under and it's going to play throughout my entire commercial. And then the next thing I have is I have some, some natural sound. Um, and it is sound on tape, so it's been recorded on location, in other words. And so once again, I'm going to put some parentheses and I'm going to describe what that net sound is that I captured on location. All right, now, so if you look at your script, your script has some nice hanging and dent, and everything aligns really nicely. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to um, select, highlight every all the text in that cell, and now we're going to go over here and we're going to go back to our tab setting icon in the upper left hand corner of the ruler bar. And we're going to go back and get that left tab. So the first thing I want to do is set a left tab. So I've selected it. And now I'm going to go over to the ruler above this row and column. And if I just click in there, it's going to set where the tab is. Now, if you click on it and hold it down, you can see it runs a line down your page so you can see where it aligns. There's a couple of different ways I can do this. I could have so that everything aligns way over here. That's going to give me a really small um, area. Or I could just um, set it so that uh, it's far enough out from the word music. So I'm going to just going to set it here at the uh, four inch mark. And then I'm also going to set what's called a hanging indent. Now look closely at the ruler right here where my mount, where my um, arrow is circling and to me that kind of looks like a little blue barbell with an extra piece at the bottom what you want to do is hover over that lower 
uh, piece of the barbell and you should see the word left indent. Don't click on it, just hover. Now move your mouse slowly above that and you should see hanging indent. When you see hanging indent, hold your mouse down and drag it over to where your tab is and just drop it right on top of it. And you'll notice the second and third and future lines are going to align with this place. So you want it to be a hanging indent. So now to make our tabs be where we set them, I'm going to click uh, right in front of the parenthesis in the line with the word music in it and hit my now to hit to do a tab inside a cell you're gonna to have to do control tab I'm sorry my bad control tab I'm gonna undo it and show it to you again control tab and it will go right over. Now the other one, we did not have to do the tab because we chose to make it a, a, a larger tab area. If you decide you don't like the way that looks, we could always just highlight it again and we could grab our left tab and drag it over to where we thought it was a little more aesthetically pleasing. And then we can grab our, now watch, you see what I did? I didn't grab the hanging indent and the whole thing moves. So you don't want that. You want to get up on the hanging indent and just drag that over. So I think that looks a little more pleasing. So we've got that done and now you've learned how to set tabs and hanging indents. So how do we carry that formatting through to each, to each row? So I'm going to hit tab and I have a new row. Now if you look in the cell where it's blinking, my format up there in this top area is just blank. That decimal tab is not there. I'm going to tab over to this cell under audio, the new one, and you notice my formatting did carry forward there. So every time I add a new row, I'm not going to have to do anything with this format, this over here. It's going to automatically do it. The only thing I'm going to have to remember to do is do option tab to make the words go over on that first line. So I'm going to show you after I do a few more rows how we can easily get that formatting down for um, each of the items in the video column. 